Hi everybody, Kate Wendy here with your weekly EFT and high vibe session. So I hope you've had a really good week. Um, it's going to be Friday night when I post this up. So I was looking for something that I wanted to share with you. I've lost my law of attraction. This is one of them that I'm using as a bookmark. Um, but I've lost my law of attraction card. I've obviously cleaned them and put them away somewhere. And now I can't find them. So I wanted to share one of those with you. So I was looking for something that I want to share with you. And I have a note written down in this book as well. Just that uh, uh, it, It's just marking a, a particular page. But it says, let joy be my compass. There was, um, years and years ago, I came across this, um, this quote. And I forgot, oh, there's some lovely horses just going past. That's beautiful. Um, so years ago, I came across this quote. And it was, let joy be your compass. And I've forgotten who, who originally said it. I've heard similar things said by different people. And I don't know, um, sort of like in my world, sort of like, you know, sort of like people that I know, I don't hear people saying the word joy very often. People say things like, I want to feel happy, I want to feel, um, I want to feel better, I want to feel happy, happiness, that kind of thing. But the word joy seems to be maybe a little bit of an old fashioned word, I don't know. But, I believe, I focus on joy and a lot because I believe that if I let joy be my compass, then life's going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. I'm guided by the things that bring me joy, the things that bring me happiness, the things that make me feel good about myself, feel good about my life. I'm just going to take my um, crystals off there. So I've got my cardigan on the digging in me. I've had them on all day. I've had a busy day today. So that's what I want you to do. And that's what I want to focus on in today's EFT and High Vibe session. So should we just get straight into this? Let's start in the heart healing position. So I love the heart healing position because it's... It's like almost giving, I feel like it's giving self-love and it's really, really nice. It's a nice place to start. So we're going to start here today and we're going to just focus on joy, okay? Bringing more joy into our lives. I'm tapping today to bring more joy into my life. I'm tapping to allow myself to be guided by joy. I allow joy to be my compass. Okay, top of the head. Just follow along with me. Doesn't matter if you've never done any EFT before in your life, just follow along with me. Joy. Allowing joy into my life. I allow joy into my life. So much joy. Joy. And the miracle point, I love this point. Allowing so much joy, happiness into my life. I allow myself to be guided by joy. I allow myself to be guided by joy. I 
I let joy be my compass. If you want to tap like that on the collarbone, that's fine. Some people like to just make a gentle fist. Do whatever feels right for you. Joy. When you're not watching this video, you can just walk around the room. You can sort of like do a little jig around the room, march around the room, do whatever you want. And just tap in joy, just, just tap more joy, more joy. That's what we're going to do now. We're going to tap for more joy, more joy in my life, more joy, more joy. Welcoming in and allowing more joy. Welcoming in more joy. More joy. So much joy. The miracle of joy. This is the miracle point. So we, the miracle of joy. Embracing joyfulness. More joy. Oh, more joy. More joy. More and more joy. Give your arms a shake out. Just shake out anything that you, you don't want, anything that no longer serves you. Shake it out, get your energy going. I love doing that. I really love just shaking it all out. Okay, so let's do, let's just take a break from EFT. Let's do a little mindset ex exercise. So I'm going to tell you, right, these EFT sessions, I have decided I'm not going to plan them. Um, I'm just going to jump on on a Friday and just talk about whatever comes to mind. Okay, so stick with me. I might go off on tangents, but I hope you guys are going to find it really, really useful. So I want you to think of the law of attraction as a really, really powerful helping hand. Okay, I, I have experienced something in my own life and I have seen it happen with so, so many people. And the law of attraction can have a negative effect on you if you're not careful. So for most people, there are some people that are just don't know what's going on in my hair there. There are some people who maybe they don't have a whole load of limiting beliefs to bring to the party. Maybe their general self-esteem, confidence, uh, outlook in life is already super amazing. You know, maybe they don't have any kind of obstacles in their way and they are surrounded by people who are majorly uplifting and positive and, you know, inspiring, all that kind of thing. And so some people, their experience of the law of attraction is that they, they decide that they want something, they expect it to come to them and there it is, it shows up in their life. You know, because that is how the law of attraction can work but for most people we've got baggage we have we've got baggage I have got suitcases full of baggage and over the years I've kind of released quite a lot of things but I've still got baggage there's no question about it and I come across the like negativity in my day-to-day -day life you know, and I do allow negativity into my life every now and again. As much knowledge and training and, you know, all the mindset work that I do, 
I still do allow some negativities to come in and I do still have limiting beliefs after all these years. Um, because I don't sit and work on them 24 seven and I don't have this sort of like bubble of a life where everything's perfect. So sometimes I'll focus in on one particular area of my life or one particular situation that's going on. And, you know, I won't bother about the other areas for a while. And that's what normal life is. And the reason that I'm telling you this is because time and time again, I see this thing happening. And it's people will hear about the law of attraction. So a big thing um, when I was first getting into the law of attraction was the secret. And it's still big now. It's still huge. So The Secret was um, a book and it was a Law of Attraction movie and a lot of people who were in the self-help, who were also talking about the Law of Attraction, a lot of people didn't like The Secret because they said it gave people kind of false hope, false expectations. And to some degree... I agree. I absolutely love the book. I bought the book. I, I, I bought it for my mum because she was, she was having a little bit of a hard time at, at that point. We recently lost my dad and she had been going through a really down stage. So I bought the book for her and ended up, because I lived in a different country at the time, and I took the book home and I couldn't post it for a couple of days. So I thought, I'll just have a look through this book. And I couldn't put it down. I could not put this book down at all. I'd already trained as a, a life coach at, at this point. So I, I just was obsessed with the book. And I ended up buying my mum another book, sending, her, sending it to her. And then I was so obsessed with the book, I watched the film and I watched it over and over and over again and all of the speakers in the book and in on the film it's the same speakers it's the same thing um I researched them and I you know found out about their work that they were doing individually but in the book The Secret there it's very simplified the law of attraction is very simplified. And it is simple. There's no question about it. It is simple. The law of attraction gives you what you are a vibrational match for. So by, by that I mean, the, the way that I teach the law of attraction is the law of attraction responds to your thoughts, feelings, beliefs, the things that you say and the things that you do. Okay, it's your feelings that are the biggest biggest thing but your thoughts create a feeling your beliefs create a feeling the things that you do and the things that you say create feelings okay but you've got to have all of these things in alignment and you've got to feel you've got you've got to feel amazing and when we do EFT tapping we raise our vibrations we raise our energy so that we are a match for the things that we want so that is amazing. Every time we do it, EFT, we are raising our vibrations. Every time you do things that you enjoy, you're raising your vibrations. So when we come back to that quote, let joy be your compass, every time you allow joy to be your, your guide to direct you in life, every time you allow joy into your life, you are raising your vibration so that you are a match for the things that you want. So we need to do things like releasing, uh, like limiting beliefs. You know, if you if you so like, if you want to be a millionaire and you have a belief that says, "Hey, people like you, you you're never going to have much money. That's just how it is," then they're not a match. You know. A millionaire would not have that belief. So you need to work on releasing that belief and improving it, improving it over time until 
eventually your beliefs are much, much higher and you can allow in the things that you want, the, you know, the, in this case, the money that you want. But it's the same with everything. Okay, so I, I see people who they have a basic understanding of the law of attraction and they, they, on the surface, they seem to be doing all the right things. You know, they're, they've decided what they want. They're focusing on it as if they already have it. And they seem to be doing all the right things, but then it doesn't show up in their lives. And then that in itself starts to create a belief that, you know, yeah, I'm sure the law of attraction works for some people, but it doesn't seem to be working for me. I can't get a handle on this law of attraction thing. The law of attraction is working all of the time in every person's life. It's working right now, every second. But it's not magic. It's not like someone coming along and going, hey, here's a magic lamp, rub it and you get what you want. Oh, God, wouldn't it be so easy if that was what happened? But it doesn't. You know, it, it, it really doesn't. And we've all got... We've all got obstacles in the way. But instead of thinking of it as that, like, magic wand, start thinking of the law of attraction as a helping hand. Start being guided by the things that be, bring you joy start to really 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 pay attention to the good stuff that's showing up in your life most people don't they don't and you know i i have seen this so a really good example of this is people receiving compliments so or people missing compliments missing praise in their life, missing appreciation in their life, uh, missing the good stuff. So they're so focused in on the things that they, they don't want, the things that they see as being wrong. So like in a relationship, for example, they're focused on everything that's not right, everything that's annoying them, everything that feels low for them. But then they miss they're not hearing the nice things that are being said. They're not noticing the nice things that people are doing for them because they're so, so focused on the things that aren't right. <coughs> Excuse me. So what I want you to do is pay attention. You know, when you're out and about, <clears throat> look for things. You know, don't just walk from A to B, look for things around you that are nice, you know, look for things that um, that you're pleased you can see, so if I go for a walk, I mean, I'm lucky enough that I live in a rural area of Lincolnshire, and it's very, very pretty, it's lovely, it's beautiful, lots of greenery, lots of, you know, nature around me, but I go for a walk and I notice, you know, are there little flowers coming up? Are there sort of birds in the trees singing? Are there, um, you know, do I, do I, can I see like wildlife around me? That kind of thing. What, what about the clouds? You know, do the clouds look pretty? That kind of thing. So look for things as you're going about your life that you enjoy. You know, play a game with yourself, you know. Oh, that's a nice thing. Oh, that's a nice thing. I like that. I like that. I'm pleased I've seen that. I'm pleased I heard that. I'm pleased I, I'm pleased I saw that person. Bring that joy into your life. Because if you miss those tiny, tiny pieces of joy, you're not, gonna, you're not going to be a match for attracting more. Um, so, excuse me. So... You need, you need to pay attention. You need to notice joy in your life. Bring it into your life because then it will expand. It will expand into all areas of your life. Okay, let's do some more EFT before we finish our quick round. 
Okay, we've not done much EFT today. We've just been just been chatting, talking. Let me know in the comments what you think about what I've been rambling on about today. Um, I'm really pleased that I decided to switch to just doing these on YouTube. I feel like I feel like it's given me free reign to just ramble, basically. Um, because I feel like when I do that, I feel like what I'm being sort of like, I'm very led by intuition and I am, I'm guided by that. So if I feel like I need to talk about something in particular that 10 minutes ago hadn't even entered my head, I'm going to talk about that because I believe that for some reason that's coming into my head and it's it's coming into my head for a reason that someone watching this video, it's going to help. So I'm really happy that I allowed myself to do that rather than continue with something that didn't feel quite right for me because I think if I'd have carried on with having people book onto events, I think I would have felt like it needed to be a lot more structured than it is. Um, so I, I hope you like that. I hope you find that helpful as well. Okay, tap on the side of your hand. Let's just tap to feel amazing. It's always good to tap to feel amazing. I'm, I'm just going to say whatever comes to mind as a tap. So tap in now to feel amazing, for us all to feel amazing because my energy comes out to you, our energy spreads around the world, and energy travels, it's amazing. It doesn't just stay with you, we work with the EFT, we work on our energy body, but energy travels, and it's amazing. You're amazing, I'm amazing, we are amazing. So let's tap on that. Feeling amazing, feeling up, Absolutely awesome, feeling incredible, life is amazing, life is filled with joyful moments, all we have to do is pay attention. Allow ourselves to enjoy life. Feeling amazing, feeling absolutely amazing. I love myself, I love all of you guys here watching me. We are a collective powerhouse. We are wonderful. And together, our energy makes a difference to the world. Might not always feel like it does, but it does. Oh, feeling fantastic. Feeling so on top of the world. Feeling wonderful. Life is incredible. Life is wonderful. I love and accept myself. I love and accept all of you watching. Every time we do this tapping, we raise our vibrations. We collectively, as a group, raise our vibrations. And that ripple effect of positive energy spreads out all around us, right across the world, and it's amazing. Feeling amazing. Feeling absolutely incredible. Loving myself. Loving my life. Feeling incredible. Feeling absolutely fantastic. Oh, shake out, shake out, shake out. Okay, so 
that is the end of our EFT session. So I'm going to stay on and just chat a little bit more about some things that are going on in my life um, and sort of like a few bits and bobs about the just the business as a whole. So if you want to listen to that, that's great. Stick with me. If not, please like the video. Please leave me a comment. Share your thoughts. Do you like these EFT sessions? You know, are they helping you to raise your vibrations? Tell me if there's anything in particular that you want to see in these videos. Um, but yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. So, um, I've got a few changes going on in my own life. So for those of you who might not thought like, no, um, <coughs> as well as my coaching business, I also do work as well. When my son Jack went off to university, I had a bit of a like identity crisis, so to speak. I just didn't know who I was anymore. You know, it'd been me and Jack for a long time, me and just, just, just him for a long time. And, you know, he was a massive part of my day-to-day -day life. Um, you know, I loved the fact that my coaching business allowed me to always be stay-at-home mum with him and always be able to sort of drop everything and, you know, take him off. I'd set my business, business up in a way that I could, you know, if he wanted running somewhere, I could take him. I was always the mum that kind of, oh, mum, can you take me on my friends here? Can you take us here? And I loved that. I loved being a part of that. And it was, it was great. I loved it. So we had the pandemic, which kind of didn't affect me massively because I actually liked the calmness that that brought, I think, in life. You know, it wasn't rush here, rush here, there, do everything. So I quite liked that. Um, but obviously, the longer it went on, I think it did have an impact on, you know, how I felt. You know, probably wasn't interacting with the world as much as I needed to. And then, towards the tail end of the pandemic, Jack went off to university, and I, I just didn't know who I was, didn't know what I wanted to do, really lost interest in, you know, my writing, um, a lot of different things. So, I, I realised that I needed to get out into the real world, and that I actually wanted to return to work in. Um, ju it just felt like the right thing to do. Um, and so that's what I did. So I've got a few sort of like changes coming up with regards to that that part of my life. I'll tell you a little bit more about it um, maybe next week. But my priority... Um, my priority in the business, I have, you know, really, really broken it down. I've really, really spent a lot of time focusing on what it is that I want to do within the business. And I have a few priorities. So my, my number one priority is my newsletter because I feel like my newsletter draws in everything you know it it's where i share you know i share these videos in my newsletter that is the place that i will be focusing on the most throughout 2024 if nothing else gets done my newsletter will get done okay so is there's a paid version and there's a free version so the free version goes out on a tuesday and a preview of the paid version goes out. It's quite a good preview. It's not just like, oh, hey, if you want to read this, pay. Um, it's a good preview. And um, it's not very much to, if you want to be a paid subscriber. And really, you get, you get an extra full email 
like newsletter from me each week. It's not a salesy newsletter. It's nothing like that. It is very content driven. There is a lot in it that I think will help you to really improve your life, feel really positive about your life. Tuesdays is a like positive mindset, general positive mindset. The Sunday newsletter, which is the paid newsletter that goes out, it's very much about feeling empowered, that kind of thing, you know, goals, things, anything that you want to achieve in life. So and it's really, the paid, the paid option is really, it's low and it's just a way for you to support the work that I do that's free. And, you know, I really appreciate it when people sign up for that. So that is the number one place I will be focusing on. The second place that I will be focusing on is my Facebook group. You know, it's it's quick and easy way for people to get in touch with me. And I know some people just really prefer face, Facebook as opposed to anywhere else. So I will keep that going certainly for 2024. And then I've, I've got to review whether it's worth my time. The next place is here on the YouTube channel. I really, really, I think I had sort of like a really big hang up about whether my videos were good enough quality. You know, I'm not a techie person at all. I don't have all the equipment. And to be honest, I could go out and buy all the equipment. I wouldn't have a clue how to use it. So I'm not going to do that. But I hope that if you're here watching this YouTube video, that you are getting value out of my videos. As I said in my introduction, what you see is what you get. You know, they're not polished. I'm not going to edit it, the, edit them because they'll end up looking horrendous. So, you know, I am happy to share these videos with you and I will jump on and do them as, as often as I can. I am really, really hoping that I can get these EFT and high vibe videos out to you every Friday. Um, I will do my absolute best to do that. Um, so that's a newsletter, the Facebook group, this YouTube channel, and also the blog. I have to be honest, I am really unsure about the future of the blog, only because there's so much content on there and it it I think that there's some really really valuable high um high value information on that blog but I also feel like it's a constant battle with Google and various other you know making sure that Oh, that I well, ju just jumping through hoops really to make sure everything is right and that it, it actually gets in front of people. And I'm, I find it quite stressful to be honest. The blocking used to be absolutely, it used to be so easy compared to what it is today. You just wrote and people saw it and that was the end of it. It was, it was great, and it's not like that anymore. And I don't enjoy the experience as much as I used to. So for now, the blog is definitely still on the go. I'm still updating the blog pretty much daily. Um, but watch this space. I might end up just moving content from the blog to the newsletter. So when you, when you sign up for the newsletter, you get a whole content library. It, it's like a blog, but there's no ads on it. My, my normal blog that I have, I have to have ads on it because that's how I make the money. Um, you know, because I can't give away everything for free. It's just, you know, I've got bills to pay. So that's how I make money on the, um, on the, the blog. That's why I ask people to pay for a subscription. There's an option so people can pay if they want to. That allows me to do my newsletters where I'm not pushing things that are for sale. I'm not filling it with affiliate links for people to buy things. I will occasionally add an affiliate link or 
something to buy but that is definitely a tiny tiny part of the newsletter and it's because I feel that it's something that's really high value connected to what I'm talking about but in general there it's just not not an ad place and you know, if anything like me ads on Facebook and all the social media platforms drive me absolutely insane so the less time I can spend on those places the better and if you feel the same way then the very best place for you to go to connect with me is my newsletter I'm going to pop all the links below so you can find them so that is a little sort of like run up um, of what's what's sort of like going on in my business you guys are always my priority and I love any interaction that we have and I will help you in any way that I can to feel better about yourself to feel better about life so do reach out for at up to me I love I love sharing things with you and if I've got tons of experience tons of like techniques and exercises that I can share with you and I'm happy to share with you so just reach out and um I really hope all this helps okay I'll see you next week with your next EFT and high vibe session bye Mwah.